product was a challenge. The Emperor took me out of my comfort zone and really brought me back to the roots of why I started Cheer Revival in the first place. I chose this card because it really hit home with me. It made me internalize my strengths and my weaknesses as a business owner and brewer. I pushed myself on this one. New ingredients, new extracts, and processes were put into the Emperor, and honestly, I'm just more than excited to see what the world thinks. This is the Emperor. What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today for this episode of The Scoop covering the all new Emperor collab from the Tarot Sessions of the Lockhart's Apothecary. Before we jump into this very exciting new release, I do want to take a quick second and ask you guys for a very important favor and that's if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Helping the channel out, it's a huge help to me. Every day I hear this channel deserves more subs. You deserve more subs you have great content you should have more subs than you do now but the thing is i can't get those subs if you guys don't click the button so please do me a quick favor hit the button make sure also to turn on the notifications i've been hearing some weird stuff lately too about people that haven't been getting getting notified about new videos i don't know what that's about but if you turn on the notifications you'll get notified that i have new videos thank you in advance for doing that it's a huge help to me as we try to grow this channel and get it up to where everybody pretty much says as it belongs. Now though, let's talk about the Emperor. This is the third release from the Lockhart's Tarot Sessions, and this time they worked with Sheer Revival to produce this one. It actually releases today too, and I know you guys are super excited to see what this is all about before the drop this evening, so I am going to try my best to keep it short and sweet and just give you guys all the best info that I can. So let's start by getting an idea of what this is and of course, how it worked for me. Uh, according to the Lockhart's and Sheer Revival, the Emperor is a water-based cream pomade that's made to be different than anything else in the Sheer Revival lineup. Officially, it's said to feature a 4 out of 5 hold strength with a 3 out of 5 shine level and 4 out of 5 volume and 2 out of 5 for texture. It's also described by Zach of Sheer Revival as having specialized ingredients not normally used in the Sheer Revival line, such as hydrolyzed milk and keratin proteins, rose kale and clay, and peach kernel oil to deep condition and revitalize the hair and scalp. Looking inside the jar here instantly, I fell completely in love with the pinkish tone of the product. I absolutely love how it looks and it scoops out really nice. I mean, look how creamy and soft that scoop is. It's just really nice to break down in the hand. And as I break it down, I did notice right away pretty much that it's more slick than sticky. In fact, I don't hardly feel any stickiness at all at this phase, which honestly really surprised me. Moving straight along into the demo here though, I am going to use this one on dry hair for sure. And this was wasn't just because of my dry hair preference this time, it was also the method that actually had the best results. As I apply it to my dry hair, I notice right away that shine, but I also notice something interesting too, and that's even though it's not really sticky, the product latches on to the dry hair and kind of makes up for that lack of stickiness with some extra foundation. It is still very slick though, so coming it out was super easy, and in regards to the shine, you can see that it's got a, a good helping of it, first of all. You can really see it in my hair, but I also wanted to to point out that it's lending some functionality to the style as well not just you know just being shiny it's actually putting in a little work too in the form of control which I do think is very cool because the products not very sticky at all and I think it's actually holding my hair quite well and I do think this looks pretty nice but the question always is is it going to stay looking this nice or is it gonna come up short a couple hours into the day of course I put together an endurance test for you guys to see and here is our style at four hours in what I see here is it's actually holding up quite nice Nicely. Maybe a little volume deflation could be argued there, but things haven't fallen, which is good in my book. At eight hours in, I actually see something pretty similar. It's not looking too much different to me. Maybe a tiny bit more movement there, but as I rework it, I can see it's still providing some structure there. That control is really keeping things together, and after eight hours, I think we can all agree that's pretty good. Now, for the washout, it's pretty easy to describe here for me. There is a lot of shine 
in the hair after you use it. So there's a lot of oils in the formula and that obviously gets transferred to your hair. So for me, a shampoo was needed to get it out. Not the conditioner method. It's not, you know, anything like a Petro formula, but one shampoo was needed. And for me, I consider that still easy. I mean, I wash my hair every day anyway. So this was something I was going to do anyway. That's still considered easy for me. As far as that scent goes, though, this one here for me, I, I, I think of it just straight up sheer revival. Like you smell this and you automatically think of sheer revival. It's a new scent. Technically, I believe they didn't like reuse any scent from the line, but it's for me in that kind of sheer revival realm that they're kind of known for if that makes any type of sense that being said though it's actually not too strong i mean i didn't actually get a whole lot of it when it was in my hair and it's actually a really nice scent too i it was it was very pleasing to me in other words so i thought they did a great job on the scent as far as my final thoughts go on this one though i gotta tell you i i was a bit torn on it and to explain what i mean by that i i want to go through the specs again and compare the ones on the jar to what i think i saw for the hold it's listed it as a four out of five for me i would put it as more of a three out of five the volume it's listed as the same four out of five and for me really what i saw was more around like a two out of five the texture is a two out of five on the jar and i would actually probably put it at more of like a one out of five i mean honestly i just didn't really see much texture at all so i'd maybe give it a one out of five for the shine it's listed here as a three out of five and i think i would probably agree with that one actually i think that was a pretty accurate representation of the shine that i saw there was a pretty good helping of shine in there and again i think that shine played a larger part than usual in this product as it assisted with control to kind of balance out the product there's a real difference and we've talked about this a lot there's a real difference between sticky hold and control and in this one, I did like how they utilized the control from the oils to kind of compensate for the lack of stickiness. It really just gave me the feeling that it was intentional and it was thought out and not just that the product didn't have much stickiness to it and you just got to kind of deal with it. I think that they intentionally made it this way and that was very cool to me. I think this also lends a hand to the styling ability too because that shine also tamed my thick hair and made it easier to style with the comb and just get a shave and it just overall made it easier to style which was cool to me because even though it had that lack of stickiness it still was easy and good to style with because usually I look for that stickiness to get things like that but this one didn't have it but it still provided all those things that usually I like to see. That does though lead me into the points that I noted as criticism. One of them being that lack of stickiness. I feel like if it had more presentable hold and stickiness to it it would have been a stronger product and led to actually getting the volume that they wanted it to have but because it didn't have it I think it made it a little bit harder to achieve that volume that they wanted it to have and the same goes for texture I mean you could argue that maybe a little bit was there but I honestly just didn't see much. I do also think in regards to that volume that the shine kind of played a part in that as well. You see, it, it, it weighed it down a little bit. You know, it made it a little bit heavy, which then translated into a little less volume. So I think that kind of tied together, you know, but... But what I did see here though, since we just talked about what I didn't see, what I did see here though was a well-balanced product of hold and control that was very easy to style with and reliable enough to keep that style all day once it was there, which was pretty surprising to me, to be honest, based on the fact that it's hardly sticky at all. You don't really feel a whole lot of power in there, to be honest. So it was very surprising to me to see that it did last as long as it did. I think for sure this will work though for finer hair types or thicker hair types to an extent you know if you got super thick hair maybe it won't work as well as as you know if your hair is similar to mine for example it obviously works well for me so I'm just going off of that but finer hair types I'm very confident that you'll probably get a little bit more hold than I did and I think overall this is going to be one that makes a lot of people pretty happy if you are though interested in checking out the emperor it is available today at the Lockhart's Apothecary at 8 p.m eastern time I'm also told that the other products from the tarot sessions will be restocked and available at that same time as well so you can check those out remember at their shop you can get free shipping with orders over 50 bucks so take a look at those or even the nevermore and phantasm products you know it pays to stock up for sure and save on that shipping so make sure you take a look at those while you're over there let me know also to what you thought 
thought of the Emperor in the comment section, or at least my interpretation of the product. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section. And while you're there, drop me a like as well. It's a huge help. And once again, if you have not yet subscribed, you absolutely need to do that. I will, of course, see you guys again here very soon. I have a very big announcement, a huge announcement, probably the biggest one since starting this channel. So stay tuned for that. It's coming very soon. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys next time.